Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is sitting in the Mazda 3 all-wheel drive. And by the way, if you didn't figure out, we're testing it in California. Yes, I'm dressed like a bear because we're actually in Tao. Because here they got an awesome amount of snow. It's really impressive. And this was the place to try this new all-wheel drive system. Let's look at the exterior of that Mazda 3. First of all, design is looking cooler than ever. This is a great looking car. Probably one of the best of that compact segment. They also tried to preserve the way they created the car by using those older Japanese procedure using clay to build a real size model with the movement that they put in and after that comes the computer part where you scan it and put it into production. So this gives a real vintage manner to the process but also brings back the art into creating a car. They said that it's the Kudo 2.0 so it's less animal but much more a pieces of art but you know what when I look at the car it's one of the best looking out there and that's what I like brand new color also well the soul red is a classical one you know the color that you get when you forge the sword and with the Sun with the design of it it's one of my favorite color and you've got also that polymetal gray which is not that bad Cool looking when the car is clean, but once it's dirty, uh, not my favorite. Otherwise, look at the front end styling, the grill, the design, the curves in the car. It's looking more wild than ever. And you can see it much more when you look at the sport version of that Mazda 3. Because yes, you can get a sedan or a hatchback in all-wheel drive version. And the Mazda is cool looking. I, I think everybody will agree to that. Also, they've uh, refined the package. So when you look at the fully equipped GT model, you've got great color accent. You've got those LED lights also that come standard. You've got those big wheels. Really Mazda style. But inside is where it really shines the build quality of the material look at that white that i'm in right now it's even better than ever so they created also the car to be really centered around the driver every button every screen every display on the dashboard everything in the heads up also is placed in such a manner that you won't have to distract your attention elsewhere rather than on the road so that's the philosophy of mazda you know that jim bike tie to connect the driver with his horse but right now you're connected when you're driving a Mazda and that's what I like with it it's the feeling that you get they didn't lose that even with the new version of the car you still got a great enjoyment to drive that car also you're gonna notice that big 8.8 .8 inches screen is not tactile really far so that you cannot touch it but evolution of the multimedia system is impressive you can control it with the button that we have right here in the center the multimedia system is responsive is really easy nice uh, GPS system with a lot of information though I really thought it was overcrowded first but the next thing you know it's real essential information which is display right there in the heads up display center or right there in the center of my gut which is digital by the way and this is another cool feature of the car everything is looking premium in that car and it really shows the build quality the stitches the color the material and how about that Bose sound system that they created especially for the Mazda 3 you're gonna see another video that we did where we talk about the sound experience and believe me when you turn up the sound the quality is now among the top three recommended sound system here at car question otherwise what i like is that you can read also some flag files high definition audio files within that system and finally you can see different when you adjust the bass the treble the middle but also that kind of surround feature that will give you a unique experience to the ear for you but also for your passenger inside the car another great point of improvement is to touch the feeling of the button Luxury, once again, is what you get when you look at a Mazda 3 store. So they're taking the brand up, up, 
and higher into that segment where it's getting more a luxury car than ever center console here completely redesigned more functional than ever same thing also for the armrest section which is real big that you can slide and open you can put an ipad get your connectivity usb connector and everything another cool and interesting feature that they really upgraded is the seats the seats are going to give you that back support that i like to really give you a comfortable drive because you know Mazda is all about the sportiness of driving, it's all about the enjoyment of driving and also even if the seat base is kind of short, you've got those great comfort points right in your back so you will be able to do a long road ahead without having any back pain. For the passenger in the back, it depends if you choose the sport version, the hatchback or you go with the sedan, well place in the rear is not really impressive for your legs, for your head it's even worse in the hatchback version, same thing for the luggage also. So if you go for the hatchback version it's much more for a sports reason rather than utility reason. It's an excellent interior, well designed. So visibility is great except for maybe the pillar when you're gonna look right there in your blind spot. So for the hatchback version, it's even worse. If you got some passenger in the rear, they won't see a lot. Let's talk about the engine. They're still having the 2.0 liter engine. You can get this car also as a front wheel drive with a manual six speed. You can get it with an all wheel drive version with the 2.5 liter engine. Still get also a manual, but not with all wheel drive. And that's kind of deceiving. That's the only downside part of it. But still the automatic six speed is doing a great job. Really reactive. Might be a little bit too much reactive depending on the curve or simply the hill that you will have in front of you. You can switch it into sports mode. It will make the car even more reactive. Accelerator a little bit more frenzy. So the power is kind of okay, it's not real impressive and you've got the possibility also to go for the cylinder deactivation system. First of all, it's really transparent, invisible, you don't feel it. They made some tweaking to the exhaust to make sure that you don't notice the sounds, but otherwise you don't feel it. So it will give you a few liters of economy, probably because Mazda hasn't been really clear about the real fuel economy that you get with the system, but it's a car that you're going to be able to do within the 6 liter per 100, 7 liter per 100, and you can use regular gas, no worry here. So the all-wheel drive system is a masterpiece here really reactive we send it in a snow course where it was melting the car was sunking and nobody got stuck impressive traction power that it's going to give so if you're cruising at high speed you will have some power sent to the rear wheels you know to get a car more balanced it's going to be able to do 50 50 without any problem in those kind of sticky situation and you're going to be able to have fun with the car because if you turn off traction control it's not the same thing as in the SUV video that we did. So it's not going to give you more traction. It's going to give you more fun with the car, more owning if you want. So acceleration are not too bad direction, real light, but precise. And that's what we like. Suspension, sometimes a little bit harsh, but you know, that's the Mazda way. And that's the way this car is really fun to drive. It's going to hold. It's going to be able to give you great feelings of driving. That's what I like. The only thing worth of mention is probably the brake pedal feeling. So as soon as you step on it, you will say, wow, it's firm. It's not easy to modulate, but you will get accustomed to it over time. So otherwise, the combination of that 2.5 liter engine and that all-wheel drive system is a must. You know, Quebec's winter everywhere where there is snow or simply if you like performance driving and have a little bit of feeling into the curves go for that version the fuel consumption is not a real big difference here because that system is really well tuned and you will be able to have fun with traction control off and no it won't come back in and that's a major point for that car so you can get a base a mazda 3 front wheel drive with apple carplay android auto that big screen that you're gonna see in that car for around $19,000, but you don't get a lot of equipment with that car though. But if you go with the fully equipped version of the GT model, it can go up. So the price range is kind of okay, but now let's look at the segment, which is real aggressive. The first car that you're gonna think about to compare this one's probably the Subaru Impreza, but it's not the same car at all. You got a much more luxury feeling inside the Mazda 3 that you will ever get in an Impreza 
this sound also inside the car when you're gonna be rolling maybe the roads here were kind of beaten up because of the chain so it gives off the impression that the car was noisy they improve it a lot over time still it's up to par probably with the segment but it's not what it used to be and in winter it will really show if you're using studded tires still the Impreza is much more plastic inside yes you have that all-wheel drive feature that is kind of interesting but right now Mazda is winning that match let's talk about the Hyundai Elantra also that you can get even in the hatchback version but over time unlimited mileage warranty for Mazda and you don't even get the same driving feeling in the Hyundai rather than this one even if you go with the hatchback or the sportier version the Toyota Corolla is also a strong contender they will arrive with a new version will they be able to fight that Mazda which is an incredible product that's gonna have to be seen they did a great job with the Corolla hatchback but with that all-wheel drive system that match once again is won by Mazda you've got the Volkswagen Golf which is kind of interesting it's going to give you probably the same driving feeling that you like with the Mazda but still the interior the refinement it's not there so how about the Honda Civic now will it be able to fight with that Mazda yes it's got some powerful engine 1.5 turbo you've got some sport version you've got the hatchback you've got the sedan but you don't have any all-wheel drive a Honda is really reliable but right now what's happening with the 1.5 liter engine I've got to put some coma around that reliability we're gonna see over time still the Civic is offering a great value car not the same styling though when you look at it will it evolve well over time when you look at the Mazda style the Mazda color it will be able to withstand a few generations before you say that this car is kind of getting old so as you can see the Mazda is placed in a segment where it's a strong fighter and now with that all-wheel drive system it's even better place the driving experience that you get when you're behind the wheels of such a car the luxury agreement when you look at every detail inside and how about that sound system where they place the speaker completely in front of the cow man this is impressive what they have done the design all around it is impressive so minus points might be the space inside the short base seat for the passenger in the rear if you go with the sport version it's kind of short it's not really easy you know to figure out a price range with the best package that you want there is so many choice out there so you might want to check on the website but otherwise there is no real big problem with the Mazda 3 this is a refined car a lot of security feature also and engine fuel economy reactivity fun of driving sound quality material quality that's what I like so that's why I'm gonna put the Mazda 3 in the top recommendation compact car segment go with all-wheel drive because you know here at car question we like all-wheel drive so guys we did a few videos also about the Bose sound system we did a few videos about the all-wheel drive system with Mr. Coleman so get ready be prepared because you're gonna see it's gonna be a real fun to look at those cars go on the snow track otherwise comment section down there below do a thumbs up because you like that video and subscribe to car question take care oh.